Hello everyone. Happy Monday. I was going to vlog today, but I'm losing my voice or I lost my voice because Winnie and I had a cold last week. She had it first. She had a raspy voice for one day and now it's better and today is my day of having a raspy voice and hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. Um, so we were waiting on our brain. Oh, my sister braided my hair today. Cute. Thanks, sis. Anyways, we were waiting on our brain, my brain MRI results. They uploaded on Friday evening onto my chart and we avoided checking them because last time when Kyle cheated and looked early, we interpreted it as worse than it actually was. So we didn't want to freak ourselves out if it wasn't necessary. So we waited till today when my radiation oncologist called me and we did a three-way call with Kyle, myself, and my radiation oncologist. And he gave us all the details. I will give you those details with Kyle in just a minute when he's home because it's really hard to talk and I wanna make sure you guys can hear what I'm saying. But my anxiety was bad all weekend. It was like eating me up that I'm scared treatment isn't working. I'm just so scared of having stage four cancer. I wrote in a journal to the kids and Kyle for the future and that helped me feel better. But my anxiety was just so bad and we did family stuff to help with that. We went to Disneyland yesterday. We had a lot of fun. We went to Tom Sawyer's Island and it has like a playground with caves and tunnels where the kids can explore and they loved it. We just had a lot of fun. But that anxiety, man, it's hanging around. I feel better after talk to my, talking to my radiation oncologist this week I have my CT scan to check on the cancer in my chest to see if it's working. Treatment's working, we'll see. And hopefully it'll be okay. I'm at Ellis's school pickup. Ella, or Winnie is with my sister and then I'm gonna go home. I have a prescription to pick up at City of Hope. Kyle and I are gonna go get it together after work but he has therapy on the phone as well and I have a Zoom meeting on the phone or computer, whatever, as well. So I don't know how we're gonna do all three things at once, but we're gonna try to make it work, we'll see. And yep, I'll update you with Kyle. How was your day? Good. I like your shirt. Yeah. Ducky and Bunny? Yeah. Anything fun happened today? Did you go to the library? Yeah, I went to the library. What books did you get? You want to show us inside? Yeah. Okay, Auntie will want to see them too. Let's go look. All right, your first library book this week is winter cake. That looks great. Ooh, bearded vultures. I've never read about bearded vultures. That'll be interesting. Ooh, killer bobcats. Killer? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh, killer cats is the series and then it's a feature of bobcats. Great choices. We are at Auntie Ashley's house. She volunteered to watch the kids while Kyle and I go to City of Hope and do our calls, our meetings. And oh my gosh, they have so many poppies in front of their house. I have to show you guys, they're gorgeous. Aren't those beautiful poppies? Do you guys love them? They're one of my favorites. Watch out for those. Love the color. Yeah, they're wild. The kids are with my sister. I'm just waiting for Kyle to get home from work. I lost my keys, I was gonna go wait in the car. Did you just toot, Flower? And, but I can't find my keys. Look at this. 
Cute little leprechaun getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. I forgot to tell you guys, I started a new medication yesterday or last night. It's a, I forget what it's called, but it's a pain medicine for nerve pain. So hopefully that will help. I'm supposed to take it every day, which I thought was really weird, but I'm just new to this cancer pain and pain medicine world. I told Kyle I was used to, you know, in life, my whole life, I would only take, you know, Tylenol if I had a headache. Like I would wait for the pain to come and then I would take the medicine. I didn't take it preventatively. So this is new to me taking it preventatively. So we'll see how that goes so far. So good and hopefully it will eliminate my nerve pain because that will make life a lot easier. I found my keys so now I'm waiting in the car for Kyle. I brought earbuds, those are the headphones, so that he can have privacy when he does his therapy meeting. And then, oh, did I get my medicine? And I got my medicine because I'll have to take my clinical trial medication while we're out. All right, we're at City of Hope. I have my Kyle with me. <laughs> he just went and got my prescription. We are learning with this pain med world. You have to refill prescriptions all the time. My other prescriptions throughout this two years has been, they just are readily refilled automatically, automatically refilled. and then we just pick them up so it's always easy. But these ones we have to get permission. This specific medication is only available at City of Hope. Our regular pharmacy doesn't have it. So we had to drive all the way out here to get it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here is the brain MRI update. Uh, so we um, got a, a notification early this morning that she had an appointment with her radiation oncologist. And I saw that because I was going to fill her prescription and make sure it was getting taken care of. Anyway, and I saw the appointment and I said, uh, we didn't know about any appointment today. So I texted him, the radiation oncologist, and said, hey, we didn't know about this appointment that's showing up at 1015. Can we do it over the phone? Because, you know, my wife is with the kids and I'm at work. And he said, absolutely. I'll call you soon. So then he called. and Which the needing a call made me feel like it was really bad. Yeah, it, it definitely made it seem like we got to get stuff going right now. Like I thought it was time to schedule stuff. Yeah, definitely thought that. But I was letting the world play out and not making assumptions. Me too. And his tone instantly, he's always the kindest, nicest person. And his tone instantly was like, oh, we're not doing that scheduling, stuff like that. It seemed very calm and this is how it goes. Anyway, he shared that there are lesions that we're looking at in the brain. Same three lesions same, as last time. Same three as last time. Remember we told you they were microscopic tiny. Um, those same three are still there. And One is b the bigger of the three, uh -huh. but it... Go oh, sorry. That's okay. And from the last scan to now, nothing has changed that much. Um, there's nothing new. And then the only one that's slightly microscopic larger is now four millimeters. There's a measurement on it, um, which is, you know, super small. And um, he said it's not in a place that's worrisome. It's in you the know, front. As far as location, it's in the front. So he felt more comfortable watching it still and waiting for another four to six weeks. He said he doesn't want to have to go in and do radiation if we don't have to. And right now, they're not very concerned about what they're seeing on the MRI. Um, and he asked us both. You know, he gave us multiple paths we could take. He didn't say, oh, this is what I want and you guys are going to do it. He said, you can either go this way or this way. We agreed with him and said that we feel very comfortable in his decision. He's been amazing so far. So um, we kind of agreed to let it hang out for another four to six weeks and get another repeat scan. And then if in then time it grows a little more or it's even bigger or there's more, then we'll start doing the plan for radiation is what it sounds like yeah but overall i'll give my feeling of it i feel 
good. I feel like, yes, here we are again, but right now we're okay. And in this moment, in that month, four weeks, nothing really changed in there, you know? So I feel pretty darn good. I feel good. Obviously, I don't like the lesions being there, but they're not telling me to sign up for brain radiation, so I'm happy because, you know, with brain radiation, I have to lay flat for like an hour for the first appointment. I think it was an hour for the second appointment. I had to lay flat for the appointment of setting up my mask, and then the third appointment was like 30 minutes, but still, you guys know how painful it is for me, so... He wasn't, do you want to check your phone? Or no? I think it's yours, baby. Oh, he wasn't saying that. It's you. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't saying that we needed to do brain radiation. So I was happy. Yep. Overall, it was good. I feel like I say that all the time. Overall, because nothing's great. <laughs> but no. overall. We're learning in this cancer world that my lesions in my brain are fine right now. And we have to be fine with it, too. We have to take it as good news. And I do. It's amazing what we consider good news now is and what good news now and what we did at the beginning of this. I'll take that in four weeks. There's nothing new in your brain. I'll take that in four weeks. You know, everything's pretty, pretty small to where he still doesn't. Yeah, and then this week is my CT scan. Yeah, CT so scan. So we to check that. Yep. So we'll Hoping see. and praying it'll be good news. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'll let you guys know soon as we get that yep we're getting it we're navigating our way through he skipped his therapy he rescheduled because he was too overwhelmed and then um, my meeting that he was saying my zoom meeting that I he said I had today we checked and it was Wednesday I think Kyle's a little overwhelmed <laughs> whoops that's okay you okay yeah I feel great. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to be stuck in traffic to get back home to the kids. I guess we could have had the kids. Right, so we might as well get dinner if we're going to be stuck in traffic. <laughs> Maybe we'll get dinner, I'm not sure. But we need to stop at the grocery store because we have no groceries. I could do that later. Yeah, that's what you said last night. Um, I don't know if I'm hungry. Hmm. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what we do. I just realized I can't eat because of the clinical trial fasting window, so we are not going to get food. We are going grocery shopping. Hello, everyone. It is the end of the day, and I am so exhausted. My voice seems to be getting better, so that's good. Oh. I don't know if I'm so exhausted from life in general or from cancer treatment and meds. I don't know what it is, but I'm so exhausted today. I napped the whole way home. Kyle went to the grocery store. I napped during that. I just, I'm so tired. I'm moody. I don't know if I'm irritable because I stopped taking my hormones last night or if it's just life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm done taking my hormones. I ran out of my prescription and I emailed asking if I'm supposed to continue taking more or not. We'll see. I hope I'm done because I want to be done. <laughs> I don't have any bleeding. I haven't for a little while now, so hopefully I'm done. The brain radiation news is good, or the brain MRI results are good, but obviously I wish I didn't have three lesions in my brain. So I'm down about having three lesions in my brain, but happy with the results overall that I don't need treatment right now for my brain. This cancer journey is just so hard. I'm coming up on two years this week and two years since I was diagnosed and it's been a nonstop battle, man. Cancer is rough. I'm going to go so that I can edit this and upload this and see my honey bunny. Alright, I love you guys and appreciate you all. I hope you have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye!